I was just in the process of adding uh, an extra couple of relays to my Arduino shield I made a couple of years ago. I thought I'd grab the camera and uh, talk about a component that's sometimes overlooked, especially by the beginner uh, when playing with relays. Yeah, that component is the uh, diode, and we use that for diode protection. You can see mine in the bottom there. Before we get into that, I want to talk about the relay. This uh, video is going to be for the beginner, so if you know how a relay works, um, it's probably why some of you are watching this. Well, a relay is an electromechanically operated device that works on the principle of an en energised coil. So, when, coil run, uh, when, when current runs through the coil, it will build up a magnetic flux. This uh, magnetic flux will pull in a metallic contact that is isolated away from uh, the coil side. So effectively, it's, you know, it enables you to control um, a switch effectively from from a microcontroller. Control, um, you know, like switch um, high voltage circuits, things like that. That's all fine until you want to switch off the coil if you want to remove current from the recoil uh, to close the switch. Let me explain the basic principles of um, magnet, uh, magnetism in a coil. So, so when a when a magnetic flux co collapses, it will induce a current in the opposite polarity to the the energized coil, uh, the energization of the coil, and this current creates a very high voltage that can destroy sensitive components, i.e., uh, transistors, microcontrollers. Uh, I've got a picture of it somewhere. I'll show you. This is a circuit I designed a couple of years ago, but we, it's um, got a relay here. You can see where I've got the diode protection there. But without it, this high voltage could um, uh, could end up in the, uh, the 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 collector of this transistor in the base and just destroy anything at the front end of it, which is bad news. Real bad news. So. Um, what I want to do now, I want to just uh, actually put a relay together on this breadboard here. What I want to do, I want to, I want to actually show you the uh, the effects of this um, induced voltage, and we'll be able to see that on the oscilloscope. Um, I've got the oscilloscope set at 50 volts per division at the minute, and I've got it on a single shot capture. So at the minute, this is uh, unprotected. Um, relay, fed flare relay, you know, got it set up ready to go. I've got it connected to my power supply, 12 volts, and I'm just going to probe this end here. Just see if I've got my line set up correctly. You should be able to see that. So, a single shot capture this. There you go, I don't even see that. So, this is 50 volt, volts per division. So, you're looking at around 125 volts in both polarities. A single shot capture there again, just to show you again. There you go, look at that, look at the state of that. If we can zoom into that and you see that's multiple, multiple spikes. And trust me, that will ruin your day if you've got a relay in a circuit without diode protection destroy anything um, from the coil side. So what I want to do now, I want to drop in this diode and show you the, uh, the effect this will have. So we can get it in there. More fingers today. So actually we better move that just so we can put that in there. So we probe the same side. Now this is with the uh, diode in circuit. So single shot capture again. Nothing. Diode removed. I'm capturing that because I've not got my centre line. Centre that. Let's try again. It's not quite as big this time, but we're still looking at about 100 volts without the diode protection. 
There you go, look, lovely. So yeah, always remember, if you're designing a relay in your circuit, always remember diode protection, trust me. It will destroy your circuit. Anything sensitive up front anyway. You imagine spending, say, a couple hundred quid on an FPGA, thinking, yeah, an FPGA that controls a load of firm relays. I know it sounds a bit over the top, but I have seen it before. Without diode protection, you're going to destroy that. So keep that in mind next time you design a circuit with a relay. Okay then, see you bye.